You can use the TI-30XA to calculate a number raised to any power and calculate any root of a number. The most common power, raising a number to the second power, or squaring it, is done so often that it has its own button on the calculator. It has an X squared printed on it, and it is here. To calculate 3 squared, for instance, enter 3, then press the X squared button. It is a unary operator, and the answer, 9, appears immediately on the screen without having to press the equal sign. The square root, or the second root, is also used often, and it has its own key as well. It is here, next to the X squared button. To calculate the square root of 9, enter 9, then press the square root key. The answer 3 appears on the screen. The cube function, or third power, has its own button. It is the second function of the 1 key. To find 2 cubed, press 2, then 2nd, then 1. The answer 8 should appear on the screen. The cube root, or third root, has its own button. It is the second function of the 0 key. To find the cube root of 8, press 8, then 2nd, then 0. The answer 2 should appear on the screen. The power can be other numbers besides 2 and 3. To enter an arbitrary power, use the y to the x button, which is here. The base number is entered first, followed by the y to the x button, then the power number. For example, to calculate 2 to the fourth power, press 2, then y to the x, then 4, and finally the equals key, because y to the x is a binary function. The answer should be 16. Like the power, the root can be any number besides 2 and 3 as well. The second function of the power button is the root function. To find the root of a number, you enter that number, then press the root function, then enter the root that is desired, followed by the equals button, since the general root function is a binary function. Let's calculate the fourth root of 16. Enter 1 and 6, then 2nd, and y to the x, then 4, and finally the equals button. The answer should be 2. So far we have used positive integers as powers and roots. I encourage you to try any other number and see what the calculator does. Specifically, try raising 100 to the 0 power, or try raising 100 to the power of negative 2. Most of the time the calculator will have an answer to these types of actions, but we will discuss the mathematical meaning of these operations later.